there's no such thing as an Amazon business. And uh, if you're just focusing on Amazon and you're just doing, you want to get started, you want to quit your job, you want to, you know, start your business and, and, and sell things on Amazon, I'm going to tell you there's no such thing as an Amazon business. I'm saying that uh, we have 200 products right now launched on Amazon. But to be honest, that's something that scares me. That shouldn't be something to brag about if your majority of income in e-commerce comes from, from Amazon because, frankly, it should scare you. It should, it should terrify you if you only have that one channel. In today's video, obviously, when you're just starting out, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta, you know, start you know, put, putting your putting your money somewhere. You gotta start investing into some products. You gotta, uh, you know, start selling your products somewhere. And Amazon, don't get me wrong, is a great way to leverage your, you know, their, their system to have them send out your product to to use their their traffic, right? Though you have to pay for that traffic, <laughs> and that's one of the things that we're gonna talk about today. What I really want to um, get across today in this in this message here, real quick, is that there are so many more things than than just Amazon, and how th this really determines how you pick products. Um, the the one big big problem that I see is people going nuts about what product should I sell? What should I sell? And it's not only Amazon; it's generally like, hey, what could I sell? What 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 would make money? Uh, I get people ask me all the time, hey, Neil, what kind of products are you selling that make money? It's not about the product. The product doesn't matter. You can make product. Well, you can make money with any product. It's the distribution. It's the marketing. It's it's how you get your product out there. It's how you push it, position yourself in the marketplace. How how your product sells. It is not about your product. Strictly seen within Amazon, it can be about your product because just you have you have a marketplace. You have your your visitors. You have you have a bigger or less big competition. You have uh, more or less people on that platform looking for your product. So. Yes, I'd say on Amazon, you, you, you would have to look at, hey, what's the good product for me? What has zero competition and what makes a ton of money, right? The reality is those products don't exist anymore. The reality is those products did exist probably four or five years ago. And then the product that had no competition and made a lot of money soon became a product that made a lot of money, but also had a lot of competition because a lot all the people come into the marketplace. And it is the same today. Some products look better than the others. Some products, you know, you, you look on Jungle Scout, you, you look, you know, you use eGrow, you look all, you, you use all kinds of methods to find the perfect, perfect product. You should stop looking at it that way. You should really focus on the long, on long term. What's the big picture here? Look, if you want to quit your job, you cannot quit only by, by, by selling products on Amazon, to be honest. Because what happens if Amazon freezes your listing? If there's an issue with your account? If It doesn't even have to be your fault. It can be a glitch with their, uh, with, with their software, right? So how do you, how do you uh, prepare for that, right? What do you do if you have, you have three products on Amazon, you're, making your, you're, you're, you're taking out your five grand profit a month. You've been, you've been doing that for half a year now, maybe for one year. And now you want to live from it. That's not possible. Because what happens if Amazon closes the closes closes down for you? I'm not saying Amazon is closing. I'm saying what, what happens if Amazon is closing your listing for whatever reason? You don't know why. Sometimes things happen, right? So you don't have any customer base. You can't sell your products to anyone else. You have all your products stuck in the Amazon warehouse. What are you going to do? Huh? You have to be able to build a brand. And, and, and I will come to how to find the perfect product in a minute. But the, the, the background here on that is that you need to, if you stop focusing on what's the right product, it's so easy to find a product. It's so simple. And we do that with consulting clients all, all the time. We go through this process. So if you want to go through this process one-on-one -on -one with me, just check out. There's an email uh, in the description box below. Just just. Let me know and I give you a call and, and, and we jump on a session together. Because it's so vital that you set the framework right. It's so vital to your, to your overall success that you don't see this as an Amazon business. There's no such thing as an Amazon business. You either see it as a business or you see it as a hobby. There's no such thing as an Amazon business. If you don't own the customer, it's not a business. It's not your business, okay? Am I saying you shouldn't start on Amazon? No, absolutely not. You have to start somewhere. You have to start putting things out. But 
don't rely on just one platform. Use them for, for as a distribution system, use them for fulfillment, use them to get some sales up, use them to slowly, you know, start ranking for, for your keywords so you can sell organically. Because if you're starting on Amazon, you also need a lot of budget for, for a pay-per-click to get you, to get you seen initially. So that Amazon puts their traffic that they paid for with decades of work uh, that they're sending you away, right? You still got to pay for that. So how do you find a product that's perfect? How do you find the perfect product? And that's really that really comes down to what do you want to do? What do you want your business to be about? Who do you want to serve? If you stop looking at who, what's the right product and you switch your vision to who do you want to serve with your product? Because we are all not in this in this to make it shouldn't be your priority in this business to say, hey, I'm in this business because I want to make money. I want to quit my job. I want to go on vacation. I want to travel more. That's all selfish. You will not be so successful if you have all of those selfish reasons. You can only be successful with, with any business, whether that's, a, whether that's a digital product business, a physical product business, a service, it doesn't matter. You can only be successful if you serve people right, right? So if you switch from what's the right product to who do you want to serve? For example, I'm about to go for a run here at this beautiful, at this beautiful, uh, beautiful place here at the water, right? So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, you know, competing in triathlons, maybe I really want to serve those people. You know, it doesn't have to be that, that, hey, this is my passion. This is what I like to do. So I'm, I should do a product about it. But it's a cool market that I know exists. I know, I know, all about the market i know to get into the market so and if that product also does reasonable on amazon cool if the product doesn't do great on amazon doesn't matter i can just put it up see what it's doing rank for some 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 keywords where there's no competition on it you know get some reputation get some reviews that i can always use on my marketing get my feet wet order the product and get it out there there's always a way to sell your product later on in, in so many different ways but you have to stop thinking about what product to sell you have to think about hey what who do i want to surf what do these people need and then you go into you go into amazon and, and look at competitors what what are they saying about the product you'll go into forum you go into blogs you go and 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 into facebook groups and you just start uh seeing hey what what do people really want and just just start asking people questions hey you all your trial on people if you could solve one problem what would that be See what's their biggest problem. See if there's already a product out there to solve it. Get it for you. Get your logo on it in the process. And that's it. That's, that's how you find your product. Then you put it on Amazon. But then you use, you, you use all kinds of channels to promote it. Because to be honest, it, is le a lot, it can be a lot less expensive to promote your product through affiliates or through uh, any other form of marketing out there than it is to put it up on Amazon. Because you have to invest into the pay-per-click. You have to rank for your product. And if you, if you, if you invest in a pay-per-click and you're ranked and you stop investing, your product will go down again eventually, right? So you need to, you need to think about this whole thing as like, Hey, what, what's the, what's the, who's the customer I want to serve instead of what's the product that I want to do, right? Because as soon as you know who to serve, you can, you can introduce follow up product. It's so easy to come up with the second product and the third product. If you have, if you only focus on Amazon and you have 10 products, all over the place and all different kind of category categories one in pets one in one in one in uh sports one in clothing one in appeals one in one in you know it, it you how do you market yourself as a brand how do you stand out how do you how do you get out of amazon if something happens how do you build your own customer base looking forward that are things that are not that, that, that I know are not your immediate focus because you just want to get it up. You want to get it out there. You want to be able to quit your job and, and do this full time. I get that. I understand it. But it is so much faster to do that. It is so much easier to do that if you go about it with the right mindset and the right, the right strategy of, hey, what's, who do I want to serve? What can I serve those people? What do they really want? Uh, and, 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 and what can I, what can I do around it, right? It, it doesn't mean that just because you, you want to sell the physical product on Amazon. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you, you, you can't introduce other services. If you have your own custom base from those people, you can introduce affiliate, uh, digital courses. You can do your own digital things. You can, uh, you can do more physical products. You can sell other people's physical products. You can, um, you can do consulting. You can do events. You can do a ton and a ton of different things and i know you don't think that that all applies to you right now but 
how do you compete with someone on Amazon? How do you compete with anyone who goes about it with the right mindset? It is impossible to compete because the one that's going about it with the right mindset and, and bringing people from his own brand to the, to Amazon to sell the products and who, who has an email, who has built up an email list of 10,000 people, um, of, of leads and they send out one people to the Amazon listing. Well, guess who's going to sell the products on Amazon, right? Is it him or is it you? Right. So make sure that, that you're able to compete. You can't even compete if you are, if you are just putting your products out on Amazon. And I know there's a lot on your way. There are a lot of things to overcome. It, it's, it is a challenge to go out there initially. But like I say, it becomes easy to do it as soon as you follow the right strategy. It becomes easy because you take your focus off your little, in, in air quotes, little problems of, of how do I launch on Amazon and you focus on how do I build a brand. You focus on a much bigger picture. So putting up, you know, all with, with the Amazon thing and creating your listing, that just becomes part of the process and the big problem that you see now is going to be only a little problem if you focus on all of these other uh, things out there that, that, that include building a brand. For example, when you launch your product, you can build out a, a whole launch campaign off Amazon. You can start, you can, you can approach affiliate. And that's, by the way, one of the points why I said you should never, ever source your own product yourself because you need the time during the sourcing process to set up your marketing, right? You can have people do that for you. Check out, there's a link in the description. Just send me an email if you want us to do it. Otherwise, find a sourcing agent who can do it for you. You're going to save money in the process and you don't have to do it yourself. And that's important because you need the time. You need to find influencers who can, who can introduce your product to the marketplace when you launch. You cannot only rely on Amazon. Amazon's marketplace is, free, is, is changing all the time. We're doing well on Amazon. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, right? But, but I'm terrified of just being in one in, in, in one brand. I know a friend who works with a guy, they, they, they sold $30 million worth of goods on Amazon last year. And Amazon was, was, was shutting down their account for some time. It doesn't matter how much money you make on Amazon. If they, if they, if they have anything that they think you, you did wrong, if they have any suspicion, if any of their competitors for any of their hundreds of products said, Hey, I think he's doing something dodgy. Amazon can and will suspend your account for some time. I'm not saying don't do it, don't get me wrong. And I see all of the comments coming in of, of, of saying, hey Niels, you know, it's, man, it's so much you're overwhelming us. I promise you, it is a lot easier to go about that strategy to find out who do you want to serve and find and build a following and start with the whole thing with, with a long-term vision of how, do I want to build a brand in the next five years? You should you take, take your head up, don't look at, I want to quit my job in three months. Take your head up and say, hey, in, what, where do we want to be in five years with your brand? What do you want to do? What's the dream for you? That's, that should be your focus. And if you have that as a focus, there's there, the, starting on Amazon, finding a product is a little problem and not a big problem anymore. Okay. Again, if you want help to figure out who's, who's your audience, what would you like to do, how to go about launching your product, how do you build that brand, Make sure to su subscribe to this channel because we talk all about sourcing, selling and profiting from your private label products. Also, anytime, shoot me an email or check out the trainings that we have for you in the description. I'm always here for you. I'm your, I'm your, new, I'm your new friend. So make sure to subscribe so you can get my message daily um, and, and, and really follow the way that we did it because we set up these brands. All the products that run well on Amazon, we set up immediately. The very first thing that we do is get them out of Amazon build a, build a second uh, stream of people, build a second channel, a third channel, a fourth channel where you can promote your products. Um, there are so many different strategies that you can leverage. Just go about them one at a time, start building your brand, see what's right for you, see what's the perfect way for you to go about that and stop worrying about what's the one perfect product to sell because there isn't any perfect product to sell. You can make any product sell if you gave me any product, I promise you I can make it sell because it is not about the product. Stop caring about the product. The product does not matter. Okay. There are so many more parts that play into that and you can make any product sell. Don't worry about it. Just pick a product, go with it. If it doesn't, if it's not a bestseller on Amazon, it doesn't matter, right? There are always ways to make it sell. Once it's in Amazon and you see, well, I don't really have pay-per-click budget anymore. Well, now, guess what? Now you're forced to get creative. 
right? If you're, if you're just putting, if you're planning all of that ahead, you're never going to be able to move. But if you're putting it out there and you're on the platform and you're, you know, things are not moving, well, now, you, now your spouse is looking at you like, hey, what's going on? We invested all our money. What, what's happening? Like, are, are you selling it or not? Now the pressure is on. Now the pressure is on. Now you can find an, an much, much easier solutions to that. Once you have the pressure of, of having to find a solution, well, that's the time when, you, when you'll definitely be able to find a solution. You will not find a solution right now where you say, hey, what's the perfect product? I need to find, pick the perfect product. I need to make sure it's going to be selling. That's, now it's not the time for that. Now it's not the time. The time comes when the product is up. Get it up anytime you need help. There's a lot of help out there. There are a lot of strategies out there to help you sell your products. All of them work. You just got to put the work in, follow the right way, follow with the right mindset, and always keep your customers first. So keep serving your customers. Keep making your customers happy. And they're going to buy from you again and again and again. It's not a it's not a one time thing. It's not like okay, I put I put these many products on Amazon. Some of them sell, some of them don't. It's not about that. It's about you put it up, and you get a buyer, you get a customer to your brand, and you keep selling that same customer over and over and over and over and over. You can make hundreds of dollars from just one customer over a year. Okay, so make sure you build your community, build out customers. It it's all crazy overwhelming right now i understand and i get that start one thing at a time you can do it but go about it with a brand mindset how can you build a brand out of it there's no such thing as an amazon business that's my message for you today um that's how you find the perfect product by the way no secrets keyword tactic strategy whatever it is just simply logic right go away from all the metrics conversion rates click rates and you know, this, the BSR and, 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 and all of that bullshit. Go to, hey, who, who is the customer that I want to serve? What does a customer need? Can I provide a good solution? That's it. That's all you need. My name is Niels Olderup. If you like this message, share it with, with the world, like this video and leave me a comment with your questions or maybe, maybe you completely disagree with me. That's it from me for today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll be back for you tomorrow.